I'm gonna demo how to make mayo really quickly. Oh, hello everybody. Um, because it's super fast and I have to show people how to do it at Camp Nerd Fitness in a few days, so I thought I would practice. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Michelle Tam of Nom Nom Paleo. Welcome everybody. Um, hi from Misha, hello Misha. So for those of you guys commenting, please put your name at the end of the comments, then we can say hello to you and thank you for all the hearts. Um, that lets us know that you guys like these quick demos. Um, and so this is the way that I make mayo these days. Um, I do buy it. I really do like the primal kitchen mayo that Mark Sisson and his people have put out. Um, it's, it's actually really good. Um, I think the Sir Kensington's is also good. Um, and you can buy that in most places, but it's also pretty easy to make your own mayo. So this is what we're going to do. I have one egg. Here, let's see where we can angle this so people can see. I think right here you guys can see pretty well. And this is so simple that Big O can <laughs> help us as well. So the way I crack my eggs, I always do it on a smooth surface because if you do it on the edge of a, if you do it on the edge of a bowl, you're very likely to crack in the shell right into your. Um, what are you gonna do with the egg yolk? I'm gonna put the yolk in the mayonnaise. So I always crack it in my hand. Like my mom used to do this thing where she would juggle it between the two shells. But I think when you crack it in your hand, it's very gentle. You can get rid of all the extra weight on the bottom and you're not likely to pierce the yolk. Am I the only one that it's sideways for? Maybe uh, you need to update your app. Um, so I go out, update your app and come back in and I'm recording it in landscape so you can watch it in portrait. And so it should be a widescreen version of whatever I'm doing and then all the comments should be on the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna put this yolk right I into I love your the... voice, is that weird? <laughs> it's kind of annoying. My voice is high and annoying. People always are surprised that my voice is as high and squeaky as it is. It's not that squeaky. It is. There are people sometimes who call my house and say, can I speak to your mommy? And I have to say, I am the mommy. <laughs> and I say, I don't want to buy whatever you're selling. So I dumped in the egg yolk right into the immersion blender cup. And so the important thing about doing immersion blender mayonnaise is that you do need to use a narrow container, one that's that will just fit your immersion blender. Because if it's too wide, you can't emulsify it well. And that's what's important. So you've got um, one egg yolk. We're gonna put in a tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And this you just dump right in. You don't have to, like I have a way to show you how to whisk it and then it's a really slow process and you have to be super, super careful to like emulsify it as fast as you can and it's just a lot of work. With an, emo with an immersion blender, oh this is a Cuisinart immersion blender. Can I use a Blendtec blender? You can, but a lot of times when you use a blender you have to use more. So mayonnaise is an emulsion um, where you're combining oil and water. But when you're using something that high speed, like a Blendtec or even a food processor, you need to um, have some water, like more water than what I'm doing here because the more powerful you can um, emulsify it too fast and then your mayo can break. Mom, it's freezing for some people. I don't know. Oh, is the video frozen for, can you guys let me know if this is frozen for you guys? Um, either tap hearts or comment and say if it's fine. Um, if it is uh, frozen, it might be your Wi-Fi because um, it looks like everyone else says it's fine. So I put in my egg yolk, a tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of water, and then we're going to put in, can you measure a teaspoon of mustard? The mustard and the yolk will help emulsify the, um, not, not a heaping one, like less than that, yeah. That's good. And then dump it in. Uh huh. So the mustard and the egg yolk will help emulsify the water and the lemon juice with the oil. And then I'm going to pour in about a cup of oil. And look, this is like in other recipes, you have to slowly pour in the oil. But in this case, you just dump everything in. I'm using avocado oil. This brand is pretty good. I like this La Tourangelle. What kind of mustard? Dijon, but I don't have any. I just have this grainy mustard, but that works as well. 
can we use, can we, what can we use with no egg? You know, um, Melissa Julwan has a really good no egg mayo recipe where I think she used flaxseed. So you should Google her recipe because um, she said it tastes really good, especially for people who aren't AIP. I think it works well. Is grapeseed oil okay? Um, I don't know. I've never used grapeseed oil. Um, I, I don't. I prefer macadamia nut oil or avocado oil, um, but I don't. I don't know if grapeseed works well. Um, so this this is it. So everything's in here. It's kind of green because my oil is green. So I'm going to move this so you guys can see. And I have some salt here, which I can do later. But you just stick it all the way to the bottom because you want to make sure that you're going to blend the yolk immediately. And so you just start pulsing. And you can already see, do you see how it's already formed at the bottom? It, that should happen right away. And so as you're doing it, you want to um, lift up your blade a little bit so that the oil from the top goes down because you're just mayo. Yeah, it's kind of green. It depends on how green your oil is. That's it. Like it forms immediately. I don't know. I'll show you. What but the key really is to have a narrow container like this. And people are like, oh, you totally need to have room temperature yolks. This egg I got, I just took right out of the fridge. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt, and then I'll do one last blend, and that will be that. What were you gonna do with the egg whites? I don't know. The Can egg whites? Little... <laughs> you know, I'll probably throw it into one of your scrambled eggs in the morning. Um, but this is it. Ta-da! See? It's super, super easy. Super, super green. What about without an immersion blender? Looks like well, you can use a whisk. Um, I have a method on my website and in my book. Um, you can just look up paleo mayonnaise, um, nom nom paleo. Um, blenders make it difficult to get all your mayo out. I don't know. With an immersion blender, it works really well. Does it ever come out runny? It only comes out runny if you don't emulsify it properly, but it should be super nice and thick. In fact, I think if I turn it upside down, Nothing comes out. It's super thick. Wanna taste it? What if you flipped it and then everything just fell out? And it's really good. This is really good mayo and it's, um, you know. Oh wow. That's it. All right, so really the ingredients again, it's also in my book, Nom Nom Pale Food for Humans. In my book I have um, a method to do it where you hand whisk it. But with hand whisking, the secret really is someone has to slowly trickle in the oil as you're whisking it because you are trying to emulsify it as fast as you can and you're trying to create an emulsion. But if you do it this way, the immersion blender, it does it immediately and it's amazing and it's easy. Um, and you can buy it. Up? Yeah, we're oh, going to yeah. wrap it up. We <laughs> have to make dinner. I use my Betamix, but I can't find the goodness trapped in the blades. Yeah, that's the problem um, because this isn't a ton of mayo and if it's hard to get underneath the blade, then that's a problem. I have the app. Are there more recipes in the book? The book and the app aren't exactly the same. The app is fun and it's got, um, you know, 30 day meal plan and shopping list. But the book I think is even funner because it's got cartoons and it, it, there's different recipes. There's lots of personal stories. Um, and that is it. So the ingredients for this, which can be found in our book, um, are one egg yolk, one tablespoon water, one tablespoon, one tablespoon of freshly squeezed, squeezed lemon juice, a teaspoon of mustard, and a cup of oil. Uh, what brand of avocado oil? This one I used is La Tourangel, but I also will buy um, like the organic stuff that they have. Uh, actually, I don't even think avocado oil, you need organic because I think avocado is considered a clean 15. But I know they have avocado oil at Costco for a good price. Um, and so that is that. Um, super easy. I'm going to keep this in the fridge. Um, in terms of how long it'll last in the fridge, it kind of depends on how clean you were when you were <laughs> making this. Um, but probably about a week or two. As Michael Ruhlman said, um, Mayonnaise, like homemade mayonnaise is bad when it starts tasting off. But if you're using 
fresh eggs, you used clean hands and clean technique, it should actually be really well. Will you do a walk demonstration? No, I don't have a walk, sorry. I, I need someone to give me a walk demonstration. I've heard it lasts until your eggs expire. Well, that I, I wouldn't go that far, only because if you have dirty hands while you're doing it, it will expire way faster than when the carton says. How do you send hearts? You just tap your screen, and that is how you send hearts. Uh, oh, someone from Istanbul. That is far, far away. Wow. Hello. Um, yes, you should definitely try it with the Immersion Blender. If you have a new Immersion Blender, there's tons of stuff you can do. You can, you know, blend, you know, gravy. I have this great recipe for umami gravy on my website. So you can make yourself gravy. You can puree soups. You can make mayonnaise. And yeah, look, it's super thick and super easy. And that is it. Everybody have a nice night. Oh, someone has eggs from their own backyard. I wow. Don't, we don't have eggs, um, but we want neighbors that have them so then we can trade. Um, oh, someone's from Brazil. All right, that's it. Until next time, adios people. Bye. Bye. Have a nice night.